Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can make a feature strap or a feature banner as it's sometimes called, um, which is quite common on the front cover of magazines. So here's an example of one and I'm going to show you how you can make it using Photopea. So here I am in Photopea on a project that I've been working on, a front cover of a magazine and I want to make a feature strap or a feature banner down the bottom here. So the first thing I'm going to do is go down the left hand side and click on my magnifier tool and I'm just going to zoom into that portion of the page there because it's easier to work on if it's a bit more um, closer. Okay. Then down the left hand side again you can see that there are um, shape tools, rectangle, circle, line. I'm going to use the rectangle tool and I'm going to just drag on a rectangle across the full width of my page and at the top here I can make some changes to the colour of it so I can change maybe the fill to be a particular fill colour and I can change the stroke which is kind of like the outside edge to be um, a different colour too. So I'm going to click on that black there and that will allow me to go into this. I can click onto that and I can choose a very specific colour for my outside edge. I can make, oh that didn't work, I'll choose it again, yellow, and I can make the thickness of that stroke a little bit thicker so that it stands out a little bit more. Okay, right, I'm happy with that. Right, now the next thing is, I'm just going to drag that shape um, to be on top of all my other layers. Because I clicked, I was just clicking randomly on these layers when I inserted that shape, it stuck it in the middle. And you want to keep things all organised when you're working on a multi-layer project. So I'm going to make sure that I click on that top layer when I insert some other objects now. So it keeps it all together within the layers, okay? Now, what I'm going to do now is create another square. And we're maybe, maybe about that size, okay? I'll just colour it in a different colour just so you can see that it is a different colour to the others. I'll get rid of the stroke, okay? Now, this square is going to help us when we position our thumbnail images onto our feature, feature strip, okay? Now, I'm going to go to Layer, Duplicate Layer, so I now have a copy of that square and I can move that square across so that it is exactly the same size, Layer, Duplicate Layer. I'm going to keep dragging it across so that I have exactly the same size squares going across my strip. Okay, now that you're happy that you've got your squares all evenly lined up, you're then going to put your pictures, your thumbnail pictures that are going to appear on them, on top of them. So, I'm going to start with that square there so I have it selected. I'm then going to go to File, Open and Place. And I go to my downloads because that's where everything keeps getting saved these days. Nothing ever gets organised. And I'm going to find the pictures that I found. So there's a picture of a wrapper there. But you can't see it. It's because it's up here and I need to just grab it and I need to pull it down. I'm going to click on shift and drag the corner to make it a little bit smaller. Not too small. And I'm going to position it over that square. Then... This is where the magic happens. I'm going to right click on that layer where the picture is, the wrapper layer, and I'm going to go down to clipping mask and it clips it to that square shape. So I've now got that picture clipped to that square. I'm going to put another picture on this square underneath. So it's the next one along. File, open and place, not file open, file open and place. And I've got another picture there. Remember it's up here, so I'm just going to move my, my little hand tool, then my pointer tool, click and drag it down. Use the shift on your keyboard when you are resizing it to be a bit smaller. I'll position it roughly where I want it to be, and it's over on top of the shape I want it to clip it to. In the layers panel, I go right click, right click, clipping mask, and it's clipped to the shape beneath it. I can still move it about within that shape and position it exactly where I want it to go. Imagine you've done that for all the others. I'm then going to go onto the left hand side and choose my text, my type tool and drag it on. Make sure, well you could just have a little practice, oh that's too small. Make sure that your text is big enough. Uh, interviews with Lil Rapper and Big Big Rapper. Oh yeah, they're, they're, they're the next big thing. Okay, little wrapper and big wrapper. Right, I'm going to just move them across a little bit. I'm using the space, move them across a little bit. I want a little space in between because the final thing that I'm going to put on here is a little shape. So I'm going to go into my shapes 
rectangle, but down here I'm going to go to custom shapes. Then right up the top here where it says shape, there are lots of little shapes you can use. So you can have a little thumbs up, you can have a little arrow. I might choose a little arrow for this one. So I'm going to select the, the little arrow shape, drag it on, go to layer, duplicate layer, use your pointer tool, drag it across so it's identical in size. And yeah, there you go. Interviews with a little wrapper and big wrapper. Oh yeah. And once you've finished it, it'll look something like this. Okay, everybody, have fun.